Yo, 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 this your boy, the real McCoy, coming at you, man. We're talking about boxing for all my boxing heads, man. <laughs> Yeah, man, just got done watching the fight, man. Um, now I got to be honest with you guys, man. I missed the first seven rounds of the fight. Uh, today's today's my mother's birthday, man. Today was my mother's birthday. We got together for that, you know what I'm saying? Um, it's kind of got back kind of late. My, my my father, my pops, he he took her to a favorite restaurant, Red Lobster. So you know what I mean? They they probably I think I think they're at it back now. But uh, so I I, I missed half majority of the fight man you know what i mean when um when i came back I, what i saw was i tried to give you guys a better full fight analysis but you know me you know me when i'm i'm always gonna keep it real which I, I ain't gonna never lie to you guys i did not watch the whole fight you know what i mean i can only tell you what i did see when i came back turned the tv on i saw wilder had a lump on his eye he was all swelled up do hoppers uh do do, do hapis do hoppers i mean I, I apologize for chopping his name up man his his face is all cut. I thought it was maybe his nose was broken. Face is all cut up, sliced up. You know what I mean. And uh, both guys was landing some good uh, some good shots. I did I didn't know the scorecards. You know what I mean. Um, uh, I, I thought the fight would end in a knockout, which it did. Um, I mean with 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 Wilder. I mean the issues with Wilder. If you want to say any negative, the issue with Wilder would be his defense and his stamina. You know what I mean? his endurance. Um, both of those can be fixed with the time, still going through the maturation process, you know what I mean, things like that. Be patient, like he said in the post-fight interview, man. Um, you know what I mean, he's, he's, this performance that I saw, what well, a few rounds I did see, three rounds I did see, those three rounds, that, I don't know if that could be a Alexander Provokin or a Klitschko or even a Tyson Fury. I don't know, you know, um... But the one thing that makes Deontay Wilder dangerous is his power. At, at any point in the fight, he can change the fight if he lands a right hand or, or, or a good left hook. At any point in the, I mean, you can be dominating Deontay Wilder for 11 rounds, 30 seconds left in the 12th round, he lands a big right hand and he knocks you out. He has that God-given power that you know is rare. Mike Tyson type stuff. You know what I mean? Bronze, no, um, Joe Lewis. You know what I mean? Just pure power. His power is what makes him dangerous. You know what I mean? Now, from what I from what I was hearing, it was a good, tough fight. And that's what somebody like um, Deontay Wilder needs. Now, what surprised me about this fight, I thought Duhapos, because he's known for boxing, being technically skilled and sound, fighting off his back foot and counter-punching. And um, Wilder was the one who's known for coming forward. The fight was the complete opposite of that. You know what I mean? I thought the fight would end of the knockout because I thought um, Duhapos was going to outbox Deontay Wilder, and and um, and trying to from the outside, you behind the jab and trying to outbox him. But I thought the fight would end of the knockout could because of Wilder's reach and his probably 82, 83 inch reach, devastating right hand. I said that would be the difference. You know what I mean? At some point, he's going to cut the ring off and he's going to land shots. A big shot and end the fight. You know, this fight didn't end with one punch. It ended with combinations, you know what I mean? And um, Wilder fired off in the 10th. And after the 10th round, say, if they do that again in the 11th, I believe it was the 11th round stoppage, so the referee's going to step in and stop it. And sure enough, that, that, that that's what happened. But big ups to the Hoppers, man. A lot of guys, a lot of you guys didn't know who he was. Solid record guy, skilled guy. Now you guys can see who who's, uh, who Duhapis is. Let his name be known throughout the heavyweight division. He's a solid competitor. He didn't come in there in, in Alabama, the state of Alabama, Deontay Wilder's home turf. You know, what I mean? he didn't come in this lay down. You know, he came to fight. You know, what I mean, the guy came to fight and gave and he gave Deont <coughs> he gave Deontay Wilder a, uh, a a tough fight. You know, what I'm saying um, my back is going up and down. I'm using I'm holding it with my hand. I just I just grabbed the camera real quick. Say my coming from my, my, my get together with, with my 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 mother, you know her birthday was the day. You know what I'm saying. Um, so anyway, man, um, good fight and it was a good learning experience, a learning test for Wilder fighting a tough opponent, opponent who's uh, coming forward, cutting the ring off pretty solidly, things like that. You know what I mean? A guy who didn't come just lay down, 
Um, we saw Deontay Wilder fight on the inside, which is something we haven't really seen too much because of his reach. He didn't have to. If you got an 82 inch reach, why well, let somebody get on the inside? Jab, jab him to death. <laughs> you know what I mean? We saw him fight on the inside. He took some tough punches. He was in a rough, tough fight. You know what I'm saying? And he still got, and that's where I hope a lot of guys, you know what I mean, people will start like promoting him or uh, putting his name out there with the Triple Gs. Because a lot of you triple, uh, like boxing fans, you guys love Triple G, and you guys say Floyd Mayweather um, is born, and things like now that he's retired, you've got Deontay Wilder, who was 35 and old now with 34 knockouts. He was in a tough, entertaining fight, you things like that. He still got the knockout. You know what I mean? And uh, his resume is still building. Resume is still building. Things like that. But, um, you know, this, this video is a little different. I just, I'm just holding the camera. It's a little different. But, uh, but yeah, we, we learned a, a, a lot about Wilder, man. Um, solid chin. He took some punches. He took some punches. His eyes all swelled and puffed up. We found out what kind of heart he had. If his heart had to be tested, what could he do? What? What could he do if it was a physical tough fight in the championship rounds, round 9, 10, 11, 12, things like that? What could he do if he can't land that big shot? How, how could he react? Could he box? Now, in the Ben Stavern fight to win the WBC Heavyweight Championship, he showed some boxing skills, fighting off his back foot and things like that. I just, I thought the fight would end in a knockout for the simple fact because two things, Wilder's reach and his power. I say his reach and power. Those two make a huge difference. I never really had to see Wilder fight on the inside. He showed that tonight. Endurance needs to be better. Defense needs to be better. Things like that. Say, the overall performance, I honestly, right now, I couldn't sit here and tell you he would beat Pavakin, he would beat Klitschko. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I know Klitschko's got the calf injury. So, him, his, his uh, October fight with um, Tyson Fury has been postponed to a later date. Things like, I believe Pavakin's got a fight coming up. Things like that. And, uh, and, you know, 2016 could be Wilder's breaking out party. If he gets past Wavakin, you know, I'm pretty sure the, maybe this time next year, he could be providing Klitschko to unify the titles. If they keep things like that, you don't want to overlook any opponent, you know what I mean? Uh, don't want to overlook Wavakin because the performance I saw tonight, I don't know if that, if tonight's performance from Wilder, I don't know if that can beat Pavakin. I don't know, being honest. You know what I mean? I don't know if that be, can beat Klitschko either, you know? But he showed heart, he showed toughness, he showed us that he can be in a rough, tough fight in the championship rounds and still have that devastating knockout power. That's what he showed. He showed inside. Things like the things we haven't seen too much from Wilder. You know what I mean? And he still, out of all that, he got the knockout. You know what I mean? Big ups to uh, Bronze, Bronze Bomber, Deontay Wilder. Big ups to Johan Duarpes. He came out. He put his name out there. You know what I mean? He... He showed everybody that like he wasn't there to just lay down. You know what I mean? Um, like I said, I, unfortunately, I wasn't able to see the entire fight. Uh, that's me. It's my, my bad on that. Whatever. It's my mom's birthday. It is what it is. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, so, I was hanging out with her. But um, but the family. Shows. Anyway, but from what I did see, you know what I mean? I, from, from, from what I saw, from what I, the commentators were saying, he was in a tough fight. He was in a rough because he, the Stavern fight was tough. But not as physical. Eric Molina fight. He had a couple of knockdowns in that fight. Molina landed some shots. This fight was a physically tough fight. I mean, physically, well, Duhapas was landing good shots, making Deontay Wilder earn it. That knockout against Duhapas, he earned that knockout. He earned it. Duhapas didn't just go in there and like, oh man, this is his home state. The crowd's behind him. No matter what, the judge is gonna give him, gonna give him all the scorecards and things like that. No, du I mean, Duhapas made Wilder earn it. And he earned it. I mean, Deontay Wilder definitely earned the knockout. No doubt about that. Good, tough fight, man. Big ups to Wilder. Uh, I'm, I, what I may do, I may have to go back and watch the entire fight and maybe do another video. Because I, I, I saw rounds, what, seven and a half, eight, nine, ten, ten and, and to, and to the, and, uh, until the knockout, until the stoppage. TKO wasn't a, a clean knockout, you know what I mean? But, yeah, man, it's just, I'm, I'm, I'm proud of Wilder, man. He showed some things. He showed to me the heart, you know what I mean, of a champion. Could you be in a physical, rough, tough fight going into the championship rounds? How can't you handle that? Endurance got to be better and defense got to be better. He showed the inside game, you know what I mean? But like I said, if you got that long reach, why even let somebody come on the inside? You know, I thought the fight ended a knockout like it did for the simple fact of his reaching, of Wilder's reaching power. 
You know what I mean? And, you know, that's what it was. You know what I mean? But let me know what you guys think, man. Like, subscribe, leave a comment, all that good stuff, and a uh, good entertaining fight. Because if it's reach and power, it's not like he got no Mike Tyson. He kind of got to get on the inside to land those big shots. No, he's got a, over an 80-inch reach, 83-inch reach. He can tap you from the outside. But then, you know what I'm saying? You know, let me know what you guys think, man. Like, subscribe, leave a comment, all that good stuff. So I may watch it again, the entire fight, and do another video on this. I don't know. You know what I mean? We'll see. But um, let me know what you guys think, man. It's your boy, The Real McCoy, man. Big ups to you. Big ups to you, man. I'm out. Peace.